Okay guys, everybody's asked me to do a little bit of more detail on my DIY tank. You can see it up there. So I figured I'd do a real quick chance, uh, just kind of give you guys a, a exploded view. You can do however you want to. Again, this is just one way of doing this thing. There's a lot of ways to do it. Um, first off I did, I just took the um, lid, it comes solid. I cut a, I cut a, Cut it in two pieces with my table saw. Put on some uh, stainless steel hinges. When you do that, one of the things you want to make sure you do is be careful and at least, at least uh, round these edges off. Otherwise, it'll tear your skin up pretty good. Uh, after I did that, I installed some of this uh, reinforced hose. It's flexible hose. It's one inch ID, three quarter inch OD. The reason you use three quarter inch OD is because it fits right around your uh, your pump outlet, just perfect. So I took that and I installed it with um, basic um, conduit clamps and some stainless material. Installed it a couple places around, and then I drilled holes. I don't know if you can see those holes, but I drilled holes in the pump, in the um, in the hose. That's how it gets the spray nozzle going. So once we got that installed, uh, then I took some just regular four inch pipe, something I get my hand down, my big old meaty paw down, which is what I wanted. I took it and I cut it to the height I wanted, which was just slightly above the height of the um, of the tank and I cut a hole where that would fit right here so it would slide down inside just like so um, you need a big hole down here about a one inch hole to get your pipe through actually about a one and a quarter make it a little easier to get your pipe in and out and then you want a lot of holes on the top side well above your um, where your where your um, pump is going to be so what that does is that creates um, a circulation water comes in the top side goes down out through your pump out to the uh, spray bar and in that creates a circulation it'll give you an opportunity to filter your water get all the scales out help get the ammonia out uh, here's the pump just a 750 gph pump you can see right there uh, drilled a hole in the top of my um, my clean out ran the hose ran the uh, wires through that hooked up to how I hook up to my boat which is I use these AC uh, uh, garden hoses as my DC connectors they, they, they last a long time don't have any you need a, a cap for the bottom and you do want to drill a couple small holes in the bottom of this guys Reason for that is if you don't drill those holes, the uh, water will stand in the bottom of this after and after you've drained it and you'll end it with water on your pump all the time. Then of course you need a cap, um, not too big a deal. So I'll kind of stop a few times and show you all. Oh, also a piece of Scotch-Brite to hold your filter material. And I just cut down an old shower piece to just sit down inside just so it would slide inside my pipe on top of my um, on top of my pump. So I'll kind of give you guys a quick idea of how, how I put it together. So um, that's what I hook right there is where I hook up the the one inch pipe on the inside that flex pipe. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll show you how it looks in the tank. Okay. So here's put together. I'll, uh, I'll take this around a little bit. I just put that um, hose in through that um, hole we've drilled right onto the pump. Slide your cap on, put your cap on. If you want to sit down there with the uh, hose on it, then you just take this guy. Drop it down in on top of your pump, like so. Put your Scotch-Brite on top of that. 
Now you can use um, quilt bed, batting. Works good. Quilt batting works really good. About um, probably half inch or so on top of that uh, scotch bright to give it a little more filtering capability. Slide your uh, cap back on the top. Plug it in and you're good to go. So that's it. Not really a whole heck of a lot to it. Um, I think I didn't mention you want a lot more holes than you think you need here. Um, that 750 GPH pump will needs enough holes to keep that circulating correctly. But um, that's pretty much the whole good thing, guys. Not a whole heck of a lot to it. Cap on the bottom, cap on the top. Uh, hope this helps you build your own. Um, if it does, and you like what you see, let me know. Uh, again, I plan on doing some other um, videos this spring, maybe um, a couple more. Um, hope to do like uh, one on how to catch bait, how to take care of shad, things like that. Because if you're trying to bait fish uh, stroppers, if you don't keep care of your shad, especially later in the summer, you can't catch anything. You got to have lively bait. So uh, if you like what I'm doing, let me know and uh, we'll talk to you later.